Hey guys, um, Weekly Piano here. Today we're going to talk about left hand voicings over the standard blue and green. Blue and green is just an example for this um, because these can be used in any context. So the song is... So, um, when I'm soloing over this, I start with basic crunch voicings, like you have your five, major seven, one, and three. Now, I, I pointed out in a previous video that this scale that I'm using here is, um, I'm using the B-flat minor major scale over the A because it's leading, that's a 5 leading to the 1 of the D. Um, it leads to lots of really cool melodic ideas and it's because you've got your um, your flat 9, or it, I'm sorry, you've got your flat 9, your sharp 9, um, your major 3, your flat five, your sharp five, you got all the all the really rich, awesome notes in there. So the the comping, which I'm pointing out very specifically here, if you're thinking in A, this is an A dominant seven chord with a sharp nine. So you have dominant seven, sharp nine, three, sharp five. But you can also, and, and then that leads to, you know, the, the, the minor one. But you can also think of it as um, a B flat minor chord with the 9 and the 5 and the 13. Right? That would be the 13, the 9, the, the minor 3, and the 5. But it's over, it's over A, which is... probably want to know. Again, major minor, um, I'm thinking of this as uh, F sharp, as, as an F sharp chord. So there's your F sharp, you have your major seven, you have your nine, you have your minor three, and your five. And that's leading to the one. Or is it? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So you, it's that that's your comping. Which is really the if you're basing it on the five chord here, it's the one flat five sharp five I just one flat nine sharp nine three sharp five. Then to the one, I think, right? I don't even know where we are in the piece anymore, but it's like, you know. That's that chord we got. Same chord. Now let's check that out. That's um the we're in E. So I've got your seven. Your flat, uh, your sharp nine, sorry, your three, and your, and your sharp five, which you can superimpose the F minor major scale over it. Gotta work on my scales. Um, um, so again. Another cool comping there. Um, I'll, all I'm doing is 
you're landing. This is, it's it's the five in the key that you're in, but it's basically a one minor one chord. This is how the ear hears it from where you just were. So you can do a minor chord here with a major seven, and then move that major seven down to the six, and it sounds really cool. that upper voice here a tenth away. And I'll often put that, now when you get to D minor, um, I'll often put that major 7 in there even when you have the minor in the bass, or the minor, in the, the minor third down there. questions about the compings in this video and uh, let me know if you have any other questions about anything music life girls I don't know I really don't know anything about that last one though so um, enjoy <laughs>